Ah, uh, yes, a welterweight title fight between Robbie Lawler and Nick Diaz. Alright, so here he is, the former Strike Force welterweight champion Nick Diaz. Stars don't burn much brighter than this, DC. Good to see Nick back on the proven ground tonight. It's great to see Nick back in the octagon, a guy that every time he makes the walk, you know you are going to get a great fight. He's gonna start going at you the moment the referee says fight, he's gonna be talking. He'll be trying to slap you, he'll be hitting you with the jab, and if you make the mistake of just taking him down, Nick Diaz has a great jiu-jitsu game Unbelievable submission ability, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with black belt boxing. Yep. That's Nick Diaz. Lifetime in the sport made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 44 against Jeremy Jackson in 2003. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is 37, Lawler is 38. Diaz is one inch tall. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Nick D. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. Ruthless Robbie Lawler! Alright, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? 
All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck. Doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the country. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Just over three minutes to go now. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh! Oh, and there is that ruthless Robbie Lawler right hand. You do not want to get hit with too many of those. Nah, man, this is a dog. Robbie Lawler is a flat out dog. A guy that's willing to fight anybody, protect his yard. I am a massive fan of ruthless Robbie Lawler. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. That shot blocked by Law. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Just misses with the left hook. Nice loop and punch. Loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, Diaz is punched to the body, and that one is blocked. Able to land there with the straight left. And a nice job, at least staying upright on that. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Boom! Big jab. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's out! It's over! It's over! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Join the winner by out and new undisputed UFC white champion of the world, Nick Diaz. And new UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better in hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.